It's the third stop on the tour for 2019. Our first visit to beautiful South Australia this season. Thank you very much, Rusty and Noons. I'm down on pole position at the moment with this beautiful Renault Megane RS. And Moff, congratulations. Outstanding job. First pole position for the Renault. Yeah, look, that's a very cool thing. So not only here in Australia, but worldwide, I understand. So to get the uh, first pole position for a Renault Megane TCR car is uh, something I'm pretty proud of. But I couldn't have done that without the amazing team here at GRM. We um, had a really tough day yesterday and a lot of damage to the car to fix. And... Um, they work miracles. Let's take a look at the way they line up. Six different cars, Rusty, in the top six on the grid. Love it. Moffat and Alberto, Renault and Honda. Then it's Dylan O'Keefe, so fast at Phillip Island. Two race wins there. He starts from third. Ready to go. Can Moffat, the pole man, get the jump? Tony Delberto is third in the championship. Can he get it going? Away we go in race one at the Ben Motorsport Park. Unbelievably even between the top few. This is a great chance to make up some ground. Delberto out wide. Moffat on the inside. Everyone taking it steady. Watch for Will Brown. Watch for Heimgartner. On board Alex Rulo. It's on. Tiptoes. Tiptoes. Cold rear tyres. Who is the bravest? on them as we continue to ride with him. It's a Honda out in front. Look at the sideways action going on in between in the background there. It catches it, manages to catch it. Meantime, our pole sitter is under siege. The Alpha tries to, but doesn't get by. Running wide was the Honda. It's on here. Watch for car 38, Jordan Cox, debutant, grassroots racing star from improved production. He's flying through the pack on this first lap, Greg. He started further back in eight with bigger oh. reputations and resumes. Leader off the road, Delberto off the road. I reckon he's the first of many. Moffat leads the way, tries, oh, there's contact! There's contact, how will that be viewed in race control? The pole sitter goes off, we've got a new race leader, but it didn't look like it was far enough up. I reckon he'll be done for that. Jordan Cox made contact and that gives Tander the opportunity. Garth Tander to the lead. So how many cars have led this race? Have not even done a lap, safety car called. And look at Alex Rulo. He's got his hands full here at the moment. John Martin is harassing him. They, can, they cross that control line. Will Brown looks aggressive in the Hyundai as well. Cameron the outside on Jordan Cox. Couple of young guns, but Cameron's out too wide. The Volkswagen is out through the sand. This is dangerous. Brown's got two. He got John Martin and he got Alex Rulo. Will Brown, three race wins for him so far this year. The only driver to finish on the podium in all six races so far this year. Before this race starting 16th, I would have said that streak's broken, but within one lap or two laps, there he's back in the game. And here is the Rulo car, and that's not looking good. That's starting to rub severely on that left rear, and at that rate, I reckon that's a black flag coming his way. And, oh, oh, oh Tanda. Tanda, Tanda! Off Loses the, road. the lead. And another one in the background as well. So just when you thought the race had settled, a mistake from the multiple Bathurst champ, the 07 supercar champ. Oh, little, little oh, bit boy. loose. Game on here. Martin looking left and right, an aggressive Garth Tander as well. Here comes John Martin, tries to sneak up the inside of Will Brown. Does he get it done? It's a Honda 1-2 at the Ben Motorsport Park. Back on board, Garth Tander. He's back. He slipped back after slipping off the road from the lead. Now he's having a look at Will Brown, who is defending. Look at this. Martin for the lead. Gets it for a second. Cox back down the inside. Over and under move. Swap the lead. Backwards and forwards. Jordan Cox hangs on. John Martin's looking willing. And Tanner's through to third. He's back in the game here too. Oh, oh boy. The jinx Subaru of Andre Heimgartner has stopped again. It has been a tough, tough year for the Kiwi in that car. As we look to the bottom right of your screen, Contact issues. there. The right front's got it. a few witness marks. And the man who is second in the championship is getting out. And oh, look, that's fire extinguisher foam. Has, have they had something go on in that car? Look at the debris in the front two. The Honda Civic, the second place car, John Martin, in that front grill. And look, it's flapping. You can see it underneath there. Has he picked up some debris around the circuit? Hopefully it doesn't cause some sort of cooling issue for John well, Martin, he's who got takes lead. the lead. He well, takes the lead. Tanda good under brakes as well. So as we count down to the finish of this one, it's game on. Jordan Cox loses it to John Martin. He's getting closer here to second spot. Lines up a move on Jordan Cox. Down the inside. Through he goes. The Audi splits the two Civics. And we're hearing just coming through. Jordan Cox will get a 10 second penalty, so he's not in the fight. Tander is though, another change of the lead. The Audi goes by the Honda, and Will Brown now is back in the mix. Aaron Cameron's coming along as well. Closing stages, 
of the first race in round three. And for the first time, it's an Audi with a win. Garth Tander across the line at the Ben Motorsport Park. He picks up race one in round three of the series. Great fight back. Slipped back to fourth. Managed to get to the lead. Revs rise, pull the turbos, get the front wheels spinning. Let's go racing at the Ben Motorsport Park. Will Brown, championship leader on the front row. Slow away his teammate Nathan Morecambe on the second row. Jordan Cox has got moving very quickly, but it's the championship leader who's got the front running down at turn one. There's Dylan O'Keefe in that alpha back in the pack. Tanda side by side here with John Martin, who's keen to get around the outside, and he's got it done. Oh, touch, touch. Tanda's getting hit from behind. He's into the side of Martin. Tanda now lunging for second spot, and Pith is trying to follow him through. Moffat there, not far away. The two Renaults are up in the fight. Brown's our leader, 1.6 seconds clear of this fight. Martin lunging down at turn 17, the penultimate corner. Gets it done. Will Brown out front built the margin to 2.3 seconds. And there is an indication. Tanda chasing across the road because Pither is hunting. And now he goes a long way and gets it done. Let's take a look at the replay Greg on board with the V-Dub and it, we saw it with damage from the first lap and simply rolling to a standstill and getting out of the way. Back to the green flag and Brown has to defend already because John Martin's got a good run. The Honda will pull to the outside here or will he stay inside because Chris Pither has got that Renault ready to pounce. Who do you go with? Which way do you go? Tanner's going a long way around in the Audi too. Pither though, the Renault's good on the brakes down the outside. Position two, nice move. Jimmy Vernon and Alex Rullo are off the road and there's heavy damage to that Astra. That's a shame for Jimmy Vernon too because he's one of those guys who battles a bright young star of motorsport. As we can see, oh, oh, so he's no. got out, got out of shape on his own. What an unfortunate set of circumstances for Alex Rullo. Lap nine this time, Will Brown, margins one second. Chris Pith has got away from Tanda who's now got a fight on his hands from Moffat, from John Martin, from Jordan Cox, then a gap to Russell Ingle, Morecambe, Leanne Tanner and Jason Bright, that's your top ten. Looks like Cox, Jordan Cox having a look. Oh, oh Pitha! Pitha is on at 230 k's an hour at turn one, some damage to the front of that car. What triggered that? Hard under brakes, locks the rears and fires it off into the fence. The real coffee, ice break. Renault oh. breaks up against the fence. Oh, that's a drama. He was going so, so well. He qualified 16th yesterday. Pulled it out of the fire and got to second in race one. And then he nailed the jump today. Will Brown picks up his fourth race win of the season and extends the margin in the car sales TCR Australia Series here at the Ben Motorsport Park. It's another win for the i30 and Hyundai team. Turn one awaits. Long run down to that first corner. Tanda nails the jump. The Audi's got moving. John Martin's got the Honda going well. Russell Ingalls going with them too as they all jump across to the right hand side. Tanda to the lead. Brown now being threatened by John Martin to the outside. Moffat hugs the inside. It's a smaller field for this final race. We've lost a couple of cars. Bright round the outside at turn one. He's on the grass. Oh, Tony Delberto. Contact down there in turn one. Now that was the opening lap. Oh, Angelo, round, problem, right rear is cold. There's Dylan O'Keefe. Leanne Tander down the inside. Rear is dancing around. She's going to go really deep and really wide. And they'll all grab the Audi. The two guys, both Nathan Morecambe and Will Brown, achieve their speed. Oh, a little bit loose Brown in the Hyundai. They achieve their speed very differently when they look at the data trace. Funny Plenty of stressed faces watching on. That's Sharon Martin, John's wife in the Honda, and her husband is looking good here for a trophy. He's really zeroing in on the back of Garth Tanner. Look at them kicking up the dirt and the dust. And John Martin with the Honda has just stayed within distance, not too far away. Three quarters of a second, limping car there. Chelsea Angelo in the dare. Holden Astra from Kelly Racing. It's been a tough weekend for that team with their Subarus and with their Astras. But Martin's coming back into the game here. He's had a couple of laps where he hasn't quite stayed with Garth Tanner, but he's definitely in the game now. 
down the inside, change for the lead. That happened quickly. That has got to be, I think, a bit of management. Maybe David Wall and the team have just said to him, let's let's cool things off in the mid part of this race. Let's look after those Michelin control tyres and buy ourselves a ticket to the final part of this race. And now we're seeing Martin come to the fore. How about that dirt? They've kicked up half of the inside of the infield at the Ben Motorsport Park back onto the line of the circuit. Someone's oh, going to... Boff, boff. He's yeah. caught it. Oh, in the background. Jordan Cox, what a save. Jordan Cox, front wheel drive, slides it rally style and catches it. If in doubt, power out. 100%. And Brown struggling. Look, he's wide there and Ingle's about to pounce. Now with the tyres completely shot on this Hyundai. I reckon he's in trouble here. Martin looks like he is going to get the breakthrough in car sales. TCR, special moment for him and for Wall Racing. Martin is a winner in this class. Great work. Tander home in second and Moffat will get there. Holds on for third from Jordan Cox who battles and fights for that final spot on the podium all the way to the line. He gave the Civic a boot for when it arrived. You could tell how much it meant to him. Johnny Martin, congratulations. Superb stuff. Yeah, thanks, mate. It's, uh, yeah, I just feel like we've had so much bad luck at the start of uh, this whole TCR campaign. So it's, um, you know, the boys at Wall Racing do an amazing job. The car's been been pretty quick. We've just had so much bad luck. So to repay them with a, with a win in, in that sort of style, I was uh, super pumped.